It's been one week since a boat crash on the Tickfall killed two people and sent six others to the hospital. For one of those people, the road to recovery will be a long one, but he's getting some help along the way from some of you. Here's Ethan Tuttle. Sometimes your community has your back more than you know. He tears up every time he thinks about it. And um, it's, it's all he could say is God bless and thank everybody. Hunter Caballero was involved in the horrific boat collision this past weekend on the Tickfall River. He was thrown from the boat and later brought to the hospital. He suffered severe injuries when he hit the side of the boat, tearing muscle and causing a large hematoma on the right side of his body from his arm down to his knee. His uncle, the first to reach him in the hospital. Hunter had called me and just told me that he was in a very bad boat wreck and um, that he was on the Tickfall River and he needed uh, he needed help, and um, so I got in a pickup truck and uh, took off to the hospital and met him at the hospital. Will says that blood donations have been paramount in his recovery process up to this point. It's amazing that all the people that have donated blood since the accident, but also what has kept him alive is the people that's previous donated blood. To have the blood on the scene of, at the hospital for him to be able to, that's the only reason he's alive now, is because other people have donated. The blood center is able to provide support to Hunter through blood donations and much more. The blood center is able to make a monetary donation to he and his family so that they can cover expenses for travel, for hospital stays, just for food. A timetable for Hunter's recovery is still uncertain. Ethan Tuttle, WAFB 9 News. Hunter is currently recovering from an exploratory surgery, we're told. His twin sister set up a GoFundMe for him. It's already raised more than $12,000.